Be quickly there, no waiting. What'd you think? I was surprised. I mean, we, last year we had to wait for a long time, so for us, I mean, it was nice because we had stomach aches just waiting, having to, just very anxious waiting. So I'm definitely glad that it came up fast. Yeah, I guess you're still finishing up your chicken fingers. <laughs> <laughs> bu buffalo wild wings. Okay, uh -huh. Um, no, just talk about the matchup and everything, and I mean, five seed, I mean, is there, do you mat, does it matter? I mean, uh, You know, at this point, um, you know, we're just honored to be in the tournament, and so we're definitely happy with the five seed. I mean, we even look back to last year, and it's the same seed we got, but we don't know a lot about Drexel at this point, um, but it's just going to be, um, you know, we got to definitely come and compete and bring our best game, and, you know, it's nice to be able to play teams that don't, you know, haven't scouted us for four years. That's a really good point, because... In the Big 12, everybody knows everybody. So uh, is that is that kind of refreshing to just kind of see some new new blood, so to speak? Absolutely. I mean, they can scout us, and we can scout you know any team. You watch them on film and everything, but it's different when you get in the game, and it's different when a team has four years to you know to play you as many times as we do to know your tendencies and stuff. But when you watch somebody on on, uh, on film or something, it's so much different in a uh, in game time situation. So we're definitely you know hopefully going to use that to our advantage. Did you allow yourself to look ahead past Drexel and, and see the rest of that bracket or no? Um, well, yeah, I mean, just naturally you look to see who's there. Um, but definitely we can't overlook anybody. We, we know how that is, and, um, you know, we're definitely going to give Drexel the respect. But um, we're definitely hoping to, to advance further in this tournament than we have before. Well, it sounded like Carolyn Peck wasn't giving you guys a whole lot of respect, saying, oh, Vandy, you know. Yes. But I guess that's the whole point. I mean, do you guys feel like you almost get overlooked because you play in such a tough conference? And, like, you know what I mean? You got OU and you got a and and whatever. I mean, people always kind of tend to, to over. I mean, you guys had a great season. Yeah, I mean, we do, we do have a tough conference. And, and just naturally, I don't know what it is, but, you know, Kansas State does oftentimes get overlooked. But that's okay. I mean, we actually sometimes, I think, play better when we're the underdog, when the pressure isn't on, um, you know, when we just are focused on playing our game, playing together as a unit and as a team and not worrying about all the hubbub about everything else going on with within the media. So for us, you know, it's not a slap in the face. We have to, to earn, you know, the respect from the announcers like that, and, and we'll just, you know, play one game at a time to do that. This season, I asked the other girls this, you're the defending champions, lots of pressure. You have your issue and, and others. How satisfying is it to be standing here talking about this type of season going to the tournament now? It's great. You know, I'm just so proud of our team. We've just fought through so many different adversities this year. And, and um, you know, I think we did surprise a lot of people. And, and it, what was nice is to see how we responded to those adversities. You know, you lose me for a couple of games, and then all of a sudden you get me back, and I'm not practicing, I'm just playing in games. And it took us a while to get back in the offensive flow. But the good thing, you know, the thing we're happy about is we're playing our best basketball right now at the end of the season. That's when you want. You know, we, we're playing well together. And, and so we're really excited with the momentum we have going into this tournament. Do you think you proved something to yourself as a team against A&M? I mean, to, I remember that game here, and it was not pretty. No. And, and that hasn't happened to K-State women's basketball very, very often. often in the last several years. Did you prove something to yourselves you know, as, a, as a group? Definitely. I think that we proved that it doesn't matter who anybody is. You know, as long as we play together as a team, as long as we play our, our game and focus on doing the things that we do well together, we can play with anybody. And I think, you know, it proved to us against A&M that we are a great basketball team when we play together. And so it definitely gave us confidence and momentum knowing, you know, offensively we're clicking right now the way we need to be to compete with top ten teams in the nation. Congrats. Thank you. <laughs>